One of my biggest problems is that I focus too much on the past. Is that really a good way to start the video? I, I don't know. <laughs> Every story starts somewhere, and mine began with a cat. No, not this cat, this cat. Stampy was a big inspiration to me and was the first YouTuber I ever really watched. I used to pretend to make videos while I was playing Minecraft in the same way he would, and one day, I even met him. Yep, that's me seven years ago with my unofficial Redbubble Stampy shirt. Around this time, I actually started making my own mini-movies in iMovie on the family laptop. I used to make my family watch them all the time, and I can almost guarantee that they are absolutely dreadful. I never uploaded these to YouTube, and all of them were unfortunately deleted to save space. Is what I would have said was true up until recently, when I found that one had survived. And I think it's probably the first ever time I actually used iMovie. How about I go for all of them? Does this look like a nice colour? I'm sure it does. So once some of my friends at school began making videos, and I actually featured in some of them, not to brag, but this video with me in it has 30 views, I decided it was finally time to open up YouTube and create my very own channel. Its name? I remember that day, June the 5th, 2017. My friend Alex, who you may know, came over and watched me make my YouTube channel on my family laptop. He also watched me craft the absolute Da Vinci level piece of art that is the pixel art Mario mushroom with headphones. Then that very same day, I uploaded my first ever video to YouTube on the FMP gaming channel. This was one of the videos I was talking about earlier. I had made the video at least a year before I actually made the channel with no intention of putting it on YouTube but then I did. On the 5th of June 2017, just hours after the creation of my channel, Slitherio Funny Moments was uploaded. I don't actually remember the exact title, but it was something like that. Then I uploaded some more videos, however, these were all actually created at the time. This continued for a bit, and then in July, something very, very interesting happened. Okay, uh, well, how do I start? Well, just, hello, Yeah. I'm Siftron, <laughs> or oh, Siftron 2. Yeah. You know that way. Let me start again. Hi, I'm Siftron, best YouTuber on the planet, quite clearly. Uh, except for Siftron 2, even better. In 2017, something quite crazy happened. I used to indulge in Minecraft maps, which is doesn't sound too cool nowadays, but back then, it was some big stuff. So basically, I made what's called a Find the Button map on Minecraft, which is essentially where you have, it's like a puzzle map pretty much, you have loads of levels and the player has to find the button in the map, pretty simple. And at the time, popular MMOs, this YouTuber, did loads of them. Every week he would do like six to seven of these maps and I wanted a bit of the action, so uh, yeah, July the 10th, 2017 to July, uh, July the 30th, 2017, just 20 days, 2,200 subscribers from about like 43 on the 9th of July, which is insane. I can't believe that. Oh, I woke up in the morning and saw 150 subscribers all of a sudden. Like, where'd this come from? Who'd hacked YouTube? Like, I tried to keep it behind kind of closed doors because it's only really now Minecraft is more popular in the media. And back then, like, being a Minecraft YouTuber was the least cool thing you could do. 
I mean, the only less cool thing would be doing, like, anime content, but I mean, who would do that, honestly? This boosted my channel from 7 subscribers to 22 in just under a month. Things were going great. So great, in fact, I stopped uploading. My final video was uploaded on the 19th of September 2017, and then it all went dark. It wasn't the fact that I lost the passion to make them, I wanted to make videos, and I actually did record a GeoGuessr video, but never finished making it. I also had a final goodbye video that I wanted to release in October, but by then it was already too late. The truth is, Minecraft wasn't popular anymore, and everyone who watched the channel had stopped caring. Around this time, Sithtron also stopped making videos, and that just convinced me even more that maybe it wasn't worth it. Eventually, sometime in November 2017, I completely deleted all the videos from my channel. Not private them, they were completely gone. Not even I have the original files anymore. FMP Gaming was dead. But then, in early 2018, I had another desire to make videos again, so after almost six months of making no YouTube content, I finally pressed the record button again. However, something was different. You see, one of the reasons I stopped making videos was because people at school started to see them. So this time, I wasn't FMP. <laughs> Orange Blaster 6400 was created on the 1st of March 2018 and was made to fulfil my video making outlet once more. However, this time something had changed. I decided to branch out into mobile games and I edited them on my iPad, so really this whole rebrand was a massive downgrade from what I did prior, but I still did it and it was much easier and more accessible than using the family computer. This is where the creation of my first ever long running series happened, when I created I Is Good At Game, spelt in the most inconvenient way possible, where I played mobile games for about 10 minutes and edited the footage together. As well as this I made videos on the room and my first ever Fortnite win. I also didn't use my voice, partly because I thought I was being really sneaky and undercover, and partly because I didn't know how to record my voice and gameplay at the same time. I was uploading these videos all throughout March and into April, and I enjoyed making them enough that I decided this could be my new main channel, so my old channel had to go. FMP Gaming deserved a proper goodbye. So I brushed off the dust and loaded up Minecraft on my family computer one last time. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Foddy McPoddy here, um... On the 14th of April 2018, I came back to FMP Gaming for one final video explaining who Orange Blaster was, not that they cared, and basically asked people to move their subscription over to the new channel. But once I uploaded the video, I realised, why can I not just continue with this channel? I have a head start on subscribers, and let's be honest here, Orange Blaster is a stupid name. Sure, Farty McParty was also a stupid name, but it was my stupid name that had a history and a reason for being stupid. Orange Blaster was just something I made up on the spot. And so it was decided. Within just a few hours I went onto a free logo maker website and created a new logo for FMP, as well as an intro and an outro, and just two days later I uploaded again. It was going to be a fresh start, I cleared the air and said my name on camera, not clickbait, oh my god! I still uploaded on Orange Blaster though, just not as much as I had done in March. Then, in July, I sealed the deal for the long awaited return of FMP by consistently uploading Fortnite content. I was at my peak of interest in Fortnite, so it would only make sense that this is exactly what I made content on. I started to make commentary-esque videos on Fortnite updates and new seasons, including my first video to hit 100 views. This is also where I created Sorting Things Out. What is going on guys, it's Ali A. My channel update news show thing, which featured the first hint at my face reveal. By now I was devoting all my time to FMP, so Orange Blaster slowly died off in this time, and not uploading anything since July. So in Sorting Things Out 2, I announced my much needed rebrand. One of the most important rebrands was the channel name. Despite being called FMP Gaming, I didn't actually do any gaming as there was no way of me actually recording any Fortnite footage in an efficient way. So I renamed FMP Gaming to Farty McParty. And Orange Blaster became my official second channel when I renamed it to Farty Meme Party and removed all of the old videos. And then in December 2018, I did the unthinkable, the move that completely redirected my channel to where it is now. I revealed my face. <laughs> On the 22nd of January, I uploaded a video titled Fortnite is Dead, and in that instance, the renaissance started. 
Over the next few months, I became much more consistent with uploading and began to make a much wider variety of videos now that I could use my face. Although I was still using my iPad to edit videos, I started making content that more suited my personality. And while I wasn't sure if I was going to continue making content in the future, I started traditions on the channel that I still keep today, like the biannual instalment of reading your comments, or the way I make thumbnails, or the Cornwall vlog, or the lion. Wait. The reason I call this period of time the renaissance is because I think this is where my channel truly started. Everything beforehand was necessary to get me to this point, but it wasn't the type of content I really wanted to be making. And this is where I finally got to break free and express myself through the medium of a recorder. In this time, I also restarted the Eyes Good at Games series with three Sessabit videos in one week. They were so good, in fact, that the actual creator of the game commented on my video, not to flex or anything. But then I kind of disappeared for a bit. <laughs> After a month hiatus, I came back with the choice of a vote. In reality, the vote did nothing but fuel the story I was about to create. In the video, I gave the viewers a choice to click one of two videos. One was a baking video where I created a very flat cake. Beautiful. Yeah, that kind of failed. And the other one was much more intriguing. The video was titled padox.mp4, and it was the video that started the spooky ARG story that has loomed over my channel for the past three years. In late August, I finally stopped using my iPad and moved over to editing my videos on my shiny brand new laptop. I was still using iMovie to edit, but it was a massive improvement nevertheless. This meant that I could finally play Minecraft on the channel again, and now that I had new editing tricks, I could improve my video quality and also build upon the ARG story all the way up to Halloween night. I then took a break for most of November and returned with something that nobody was expecting, not even myself. I made merch. I found a website named Teespring that literally let me make branded shirts and hoodies for free, and so I did, and you can buy them. Moving into December, I decided to make a video where I gave my friends some presents. This was the first time I actually included my friends in videos. You monster. And in the new year, I was going to make so many vlogs, it was going to be great. It was one of my new year's resolutions alongside uploading a video on the 13th day of every month. So I put my plan into action. For 75 subscribers, I said I would give Alex a cookie. So I did, and made a video with him. And then I invited Charlie over to look at all the outro submissions that definitely weren't just all me. Things were looking up for my hopes of the vlog content, but then the whole world was put in lock. Sorting things out returned after a year-long hiatus to report that the entire UK was put under a strict lockdown, and I had no more school. Well, I did, but online work only took like three hours in my day, so I had more time to make videos, and I took full advantage of that over the next few months. I uploaded more videos than I ever had before, and in this time, I also mastered the thumbnail style that I use. The border, the font, the subpar cropping, like, seriously, what the fuck is this? One prevailing video I did that got thrown around a lot was the Doctor Who Series 12 review. Will be happening... I don't know really when. A video that I had recorded in March that kept getting delayed because of the intimidating three hours of footage to edit. In truth, I wasn't proud of the video and I thought I could do better. Despite that, I still uploaded it. On the 28th of May 2020, I wanted to make a video. So I got out my trusty notebook and began to think of an idea. I got one. So I got up, walked into my garden and set my phone up facing my garden bench. I then thought I could make seven videos and upload them daily in a week, calling it Bench Week. But then you know what else is seven? The number of months until the end of the year. Yeah, let's do that. But hold on, what if I made a total of 12 videos on that day and uploaded them all on the first day of every month for the next year? And Bench Videos was born. Since the global lockdown was beginning to ease, I decided to invite Alex and Charlie over to finally start doing the videos I wanted to do at the start of the year. Everything was going great. I made the most videos in a month I had ever done before, including three videos from when I went to Scotland, the summer games with Alex and Charlie, and of course, the Daniel1974 video. If you don't know about the controversy surrounding the video, it's probably better that way, but I'm sure you can find out just by looking at the comments of the video. And finally, after making a joke about how I will never achieve the landmark in my 100th video, I got 100 subscribers. What? 
just happened. A monumental moment for the FMP community. During October, I decided that the entire world needed to know my opinion on certain things, so I created Farty Muk Podcast, my secret third channel. Towards the end of October, I also continued to build upon the established spooky ARG and develop the story of the bridge. This is where people actually began to take the story seriously and begin to follow it. But something was on the horizon, something that would change the course of my channel forever. The biggest change since I renamed FMP Gaming to Farty Muk Party. I was moving house. As my actual house was getting work done to it, I had to temporarily move to a much smaller house for about three months. Spoilers for later on, it's much longer than three months, never trust builders. It took about three weeks to settle into this new place and for me to press record once again. The background of my videos ended up being very bland as it was, well, just a blank white wall and I couldn't put anything on the wall because I didn't actually own the wall but that was all right it put more focus on me the main attraction I'm the important one fuck you wall I started making videos again just in time for Christmas where I did my annual London lights Christmas special and Christmas review finishing off the year with my longest video yet best of FMP 2020 the new year was a fresh start something new something never seen before Minecraft videos. I returned to the game I loved so dearly with Minecraft Week after not making a serious Minecraft video for about two years. Not that Minecraft Week was serious, quite the opposite. Oh wait, no, I'm still- No, no! But this series marked the incoming changes on my channel, and things were only going to get bigger. 2021 was going to be the year I really tried something different. Sure, I tested new ideas the year before, but I made a lot of sequels to videos and continuations of series. Not that I would stop well-loved series like reading your comments, bench videos, or summer games, but less important ones like the random videos, the cat compilations, or a heavy reliance on sorting things out. This was a wave of new content and I needed to show that. Changes needed to happen. So over the next few months between the new content, I slowly rebranded. First was my outro, which changes every year anyway, so it wasn't really a big deal. Next was my profile picture, a staple of my channel, unchanged since I came back in 2018. Well, that's not technically true, I changed it a few times for October and December, but I always changed it back to this. But that nostalgia wasn't enough to stop me. The next change was the most important, my actual channel name. It had been farting at party for so long that it almost felt wrong changing it without some big send-off. And so I did. I made a whole video about the history of the name and how it came about, announcing the change at the end of the video. Finally, I changed my intro, which really should have been changed a long time ago as it said FMP Gaming at the start of every video for the past three years, despite that not being the channel name. Alongside my main channel, my two other channels also received the same rebrand treatment with similar names, logos and banners. With this new brand, I went into summer ready to make videos like I never had before. And let me tell you, I made some videos. At the end of May, I had finished my GCSE exams, which meant that I didn't have any more school to worry about, and I had the entirety of summer to make whatever I wanted. So at the start of June, I announced my summer plans in what I thought would be my last sorting things out. It wasn't. Announcing the return of summer games, Minecraft Week 2, and more videos on the podcast channel. And oh, you remember last year when I wanted to make vlogs with my friends? I finally, finally got to do that. In July, I finally moved back into my house, which meant that videos would be more consistent. However, only half of the videos uploaded within the next two months even took place in my room, and most of them were me getting scared. But that's because I was fully in the swing of summer making videos such as The Three Summer Games, the entirety of Bench Video Season 2, The London Vlog, The Brighton Vlog, Going On Every Tube Line, and of course, you can forget the vlog. But this suddenly all became too much for Mr. Farty McDaniel Party. That's my full name, by the way. And so I fell under the stress I built up trying to create all this content. But it was for the betterment of my mental health, and I think I benefited from it in the long term. So I took a break for the final weeks of summer, just to enjoy the freedom of summer without worrying about putting out a YouTube video every other day. But the problem was that I was enjoying creating content too much, so it was only a matter of time before I came crawling back. I returned to YouTube almost exactly one month later, feeling a lot more relaxed, like I could do whatever I want. Not that I couldn't before, 
Now that I think about it, it was probably just the placebo effect, but that didn't matter. I threw all of my old ideas out in one big scrapped video video as a symbol of moving forward. That video actually included this video that you're watching now as this was originally intended to go out in August 2021. One of the things I wanted to do with the ARG content this year was implementing the story into regular videos so if you were to take out the ARG stuff it wouldn't make the video less entertaining. And I think I somewhat achieved that in these two videos especially. <laughs> I wrapped up the year in a weird way, and while the best of FMP 2021 is a long video, it isn't the best it could have been. It's a fun look back at what I did during the year, but on reflection I probably should have toned down the awards show aspect because I cut in so often and people just really want to see the compilations and quiz, and I'm also very obviously reading off of a script. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with the first category, we have but that's all in the past, because we have finally reached the f Just before I ended the year, I showed off my new Mac that I got for Christmas, and I began to actually use it in the new year, alongside a very big change. A much bigger change than any channel rebrand in the past. I stopped using iMovie. Yep. This whole time from day one, I've always used iMovie, the family laptop, my iPad, my own laptop, and sometimes even my phone. Before 2022, there isn't a single video on my channel that wasn't edited on some form of iMovie, except for this one, but that was actually edited by Charlie, so it doesn't really count. Using Final Cut Pro, which is a much more professional editing software, would allow me to explore a lot more options when editing a video. The quality and range of videos I was about to make was only going to get better. Hey guys. Welcome to the video. Uh... I often find it difficult to find my footing when making videos at the start of the year, and this January was no different. With hopefully the final return of sorting things out, I put an end to the Minecraft world I worked on last year, but then I just rambled about stuff that I never ended up putting into practice. Oh, and I also had a mental breakdown live on camera. In March, I had a lot of free time and decided to return to Minecraft and start a new hardcore series. This could fill out my free time because of how flexible the recording was, and for the first time in almost two years, I didn't use a face cam. I was essentially returning to exactly how I started, five years ago on FMP Gaming. Had I really changed or was this channel one big circle disguised as a line? Was this my destiny? Nope. I died in that world and haven't made a Minecraft video since. And then we arrive at today, the 5th of June 2022, five years onward from when I created this channel. As you have seen in this video, it's been a wild journey to take. And while only a few people have been here since the start, I thank you for watching regardless. I've been doing this for a while and I don't want to stop, but as much as it saddens me to say, I can't really see myself doing this in a few years time. It's not that I'm burnt out or that I don't want to make videos anymore, but I'm becoming an adult next year and that's scary. I have plans for my future, going to university, getting a job, hopefully. Not that I can't still make videos on the side, but they wouldn't be the same anymore. And there will come a point where Farty McParty just fades away. Yeah, but you can't get rid of me that easily. As much as it would be poetic to pull a Shakespeare and die on my birthday, I've got a bunch of videos planned for this summer and onwards. So in the meantime, you're still stuck with good old Farty McDaniel party, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, that is great. Give it a like, maybe, and I will see you in the next video, depending on what it is. Goodbye.